Huh? This barrier. It's not part of the ruins. It's some electronic lock. Probably put there by Longardian troops, and it looks like the latest model. It's awfully secure. I bet only a supercomputer could unlock it. So this tower is that important to them? Uh, may I give it a try? I might be able to unlock it. Are you sure? Leave it to me. Hmm, this uses the latest technology. We're dealing with tricky customers indeed. No good? Unfortunately not. Hmm, guess I'll have to pull out all the stops. If I put my brain circuits on full burst, we might be able to get somewhere. Full burst? Yes. When I activate my full burst mode, it allows me to increase my processing power to 150%. I'm sure Dr. Boccaccio will switch me over if we ask him. Looks like that's our only option, Jaster. Yeah. Let's get Dr. Picaccio's help. Full burst mode? Are you insane? It's only for a short while, Doctor. If I could just take down that barrier... Forget it. The damage to your emotional circuits would be too great. Can't you do something? You're the only option we have. In any case, I can't make this decision by myself. Wait here a moment. This way, Steve. Huh? All right. He can't make it himself. Then whose decision is it? Are you sure about this, Mark? I'm with Steve on this one, Dad. I want to go on lots more adventures. But if this doesn't go well, there's a likely chance that you might disappear forever. And if that were to happen... Dad, I want to help Jaster and his friends. Mark. They're really great people. They're Steve's good friends, every one of them. And that makes them my good friends, too. Friends. Friends, huh? I see. You've made new friends. I'm so glad, Mark. I was hoping you would. I've removed the burst mode limiter from Steve's central processing unit. When Steve goes into burst mode, he'll be as powerful as the Galaxy Corporation's latest and greatest supercomputers. Here, take this with you. With this switch, you will be able to activate Steve's burst mode. Dr. Boccaccio. Thank you for listening to my selfish demands. I should be the one thanking you, Steve. Now, you should get going. Your adventure is far from over. If we hang around too long, Daytron will be on to us. Let's get this barrier out of the way. You're in a good mood. All thanks to Dr. Boccaccio. You did it! That Boccaccio is a genius! Sure can't take him for granted. You're absolutely right. Let's keep going.
place looks pretty shady. I'm looking forward to seeing those ruins, though. Huh? Look, Mr. Rogue. I speak of the valor of the Libra King. I have waited for you across the eternal ages. I believe that you may be the ones who can finally quell the turmoil in this cursed castle. I am the Libra King. I am the lord of this castle. Oh, brave and valiant travelers, do me the honor of listening to my request. A request? What is it? The tortured souls of my sons wander these two towers. They have continued their pointless quarrel over these many long years. Not even noticing as their bodies crumbled to dust. Please, help bring peace back to these two towers. W wait Take a look at that. The spirits. They're showing us the way? What's going on? Looks like the King's servants are guiding our way. Well then, what do you want to do, Jaster? Let's give it a shot. I knew you'd say that. Ready, willing and able. Same as always. Jaster, I hope you're ready. This time around it's not going to be so easy. I know. It's me. Just as you suspected, they've managed to dupe the Libra King. We should just let him go for now, right? Yes. Might as well leave the dirty work to the dirty workers, don't you think? We'll pick up again once they're through finding them all. Quite the adventure, haven't you? Yup, and I'm not gonna give up now. Hmm? What's the matter, Dad? Oh, it's it's nothing. Just be careful out there. Jaster. You again. And you, I see. Using the king's powers to persuade those idiot princes? What's your point? I would gladly handle that task in your stead, if you please. Forget it! <laughs> then let us play. After all, I have plenty of time. You could stand a little more practice. 
A pack of incompetent fighters is far worse than one. Fine, then. Take me on instead. Huh? Desert Claw! Hmm. He's got superhuman speed. No, his powers aren't human at all. So, what about it? You yourself are something special indeed to be fighting with me on the same level. I shall withdraw. I am not foolish enough to know the risks and fight anyway. Ready. Thanks. Stay alert. You never know what Datron has up its sleeve. Who goes there? Uh... I'm Jaster. We're here by order of the King. Please, hear us out. Ah, that is indeed my father's sword. What is he telling me to do now? I'm doing a fine job with my royal duties, thank you. <sighs> Can't you see? Take a good look. You're no longer human. What kind of king is that? The Libra King sent me here to try to make you understand. What are you talking about? Oh, I see what you're up to. I bet my brother Gazelle talked you into this. No! Please, listen to me! You had your chance! Pawns of Gazelle! Your journey ends here! Prepare yourselves! do not believe in me. You have chosen Gazelle? I'm so ashamed. I still have so much to learn from you. How could I be king? I never had what it took to be king. Please, I want you to give my brother Gazelle a message. Tell him I surrender the throne, and that he is the one who can fulfill our father's wishes. Oh, if it isn't Jester! What a coincidence! What the? What's going on? Come on, Jester! It's me! No way! Is that really you? Burton? Of course it's me! Can't you tell? How could I? What happened? A beast got me while I was exploring, and the next thing I knew, here I was, like this! You turned into a spirit? Don't you mind? Oh no! This is so much better! Now that I'm a spirit, it's a cinch to find out all sorts of things about the past. I must say, it's quite a pleasant surprise. Oops, can't hang around like this. I've got a lot more research to do. See you later, folks! Hey, Burton, wait! See you later? Talk about happy-go-lucky. What do you want? This is the King's Chamber. No place for commoners to be barging in. We're here by order of your father. The Libra King. Please, hear us out. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My dead father sent you here? 
So the dead are now recruiting the living. Or is this all my brother Logan's doing? Don't you see? The Libra King is no longer of this world. But neither are you. You've been dead for a long time. Your obsession with the throne prevents you from moving on. All you are now is a phantom, cursed to haunt this tower for eternity. Huh. Don't be absurd. Fine. Then take a look at this. What? That's my father's sword. Where did you get it? Oh, I see now. Logan went so far as to use father's name in his little scheme. An unforgivable folly! Horns of Logan! I shall bury you all! In the name of the King! I felt my father's presence in that blade. It was as though he spoke to me with every strike. So, you deny me, father. I have lost myself in the pursuit of the throne. I was a poor excuse for a king. I am nothing compared to my father. Please. Tell my brother Logan for me. Tell him the throne is his. And that he is the one fit to succeed our father. Logan. Gazelle, my brother. So you finally noticed too. The two of us have dishonored our father's throne. We have made so many people suffer. Our sins are grave. I doubt they can ever be forgiven. But we must try to atone for them together. You are absolutely right, my brother. We are the sons of the great monarch, the Libra King, our father. We have continued to quarrel these many long years. But now we have recognized our own gross foolishness. All those who lost their lives during our war, find it in your hearts to forgive us. I swear this now, in the name of King Zerard. We two princes shall henceforth become one king! Beloved citizens, let us journey forth to the brink of time where we can live anew, where we shall build our kingdom. Honorable warriors, I must thank you. Please, allow me to give you this symbol of our kingdom as a token of our gratitude. We no longer have any need for it. Our father's heart rests within us. So, this is Zerard's key piece. We're setting forth for a new age. One day, we hope to rebuild our kingdom once again. That shall be our penance. Thanks to you, we are able to join hands as brothers once more. Farewell, and thank you. 
May you have the best of luck on your journey. They're gone. They've finally become true kings. Now they're free to move on to a new world and establish a kingdom together. Listen, the bells. Nice sound to it. Seems true peace has finally returned to this place. life? There sure are some strange things in this old world of ours. Hmm. I bet I know what's going on. This is a sign that the gods wanted me to continue with my research. Well, I'd better hurry then. I've got other ruins waiting for me. A child of royal blood. Jaster, the fate of the galaxy lies within the blood flowing through your veins. Got a message from the Zarar Space Authority. The route to Alistia is open. Alistia? What kind of planet is that? Alistia is an ocean planet with more than 90% of its surface covered by water. Through an agreement with the Galaxy Corporation, landing on Alistia is possible only for a select period of time. Ah, uh, it's like a primo resort for road-weary travelers. We're so busy though, we hardly ever make it there. We should try to stop by if we have the chance. I wouldn't mind a break myself. What are you doing here? Not a thing. Just taking a stroll, that's all. Uh, keep up the good work, fellas. Oh, yeah? Just taking a stroll, huh? Hey, Jester. Let's take him down. No. I don't want to cause a scene. We should try to talk our way out. What are you whispering about? That's it. I'm taking you in for questioning. Come with us. <clears throat> Okay, Zegram. You win. See? We'd be fighting him either way. This isn't good. Huh? This way! Hurry! Damn! Where'd they go? That was a close one. Hi there, I'm Harry. Good to meet you. Thanks a lot. I'm Jaster. What do you know? Never pictured a place like this under the town. This is our hideout. We live here, me and my friends. But listen, I could really use your help. You see, there's been some trouble. Sorry, kid. We've got our hands full. We don't have time to make some brat's wish come true. I've been following you guys for a while now, and I just know you'll be able to help us. 
Sheesh, how many times do I have to tell you? We have grown up business to... Now, now, let's just listen to what he has to say. Hmm. I need you guys to help Borga. Borga? Yeah, he's a friend of ours. He lives way deep inside the waterway in the Cancer King ruins. So, what happened to him? These weird robots came in and started messing with the ruins. It's almost as if they were looking for something. Org is trying his best to stop them, but he can only do so much. He's gonna get himself killed unless we do something. Datron's robots, I'll bet. All right. I don't know if we'll be able to help your friend, but we'll do our best. You really will? Thank you so much! Go and rescue Borga and get him far away from there. So, what's this Borga person look like? Person? Uh, Borga's not a person. He's a beast. Beast? Yeah, but it's not like he's a bad beast. He protects us. He's fought for us zillions of times. He's awful nice and warm-hearted, just like a real person. Pretty harsh joke you're trying to pull. Well, Jaster, as if I even have to ask. He's deep inside the waterway, right? <sighs> yep, and I can help you guys out from here. I'll get all kinds of items ready for you. And they're all yours. For a small price, of course. <laughs> huh. Shrewd little brat. Oh, and take this. Use it to get in touch if you guys run into some trouble. All right, then. Good luck out there. We'll never get past this. Whoa, if we fell in, we'd be swept away, and who knows where we'd end up. Hmm. Then what do we do? I'm not exactly waterproof myself. Hey, you know what? Maybe that kid would have some idea how to get around this. You told us to ring him if we got stuck. You rang? So, what's up? Oh, this place. Well... Can you do anything? Sure, no problem. Hang on a sec. I'll set it up so you can cross. Usually the water only comes up to my knees, but when it gushes like this, look out! This is where I first met Borga. It was flooding like this back then, too. I was just about to drown. But just then, Borga came and saved me. And ever since then, we've been hanging out together. Borga saved my skin tons of times since then, too. And he's a way better friend than most adults I've ever known. And now, it's my turn to save him. Okay, that should do it. It's pretty cool, huh? I made it myself. Well, I'll head back then. You take care of Borger, okay? Are you sure about this rickety thing? <sighs> Him again! So it is you. I warn you. You are not the ones who are to approach Eden. It is better if you leave now. Huh. Too bad. Not gonna happen. Then I have no choice. You are in Father's way. Be gone. The sight of this blade shall be your last. I seriously doubt that'd be enough to kill him. Hmm. Come on. This is no time to linger. Yeah. Hmm. 
It seems they have not noticed yet. The fools. Everything is in the palm of father's hand. What the? Could that be Borga? Let's hurry, Jester! So, this is Borga. And look! He's fighting Daytron's mechanized troops! They must have come here looking for that key piece. We have to do something. Yeah. like one of the ancient kings, the Cancer King. But why is he here? Don't get so worked up. It's just a ghost. Just a ghost? Harry. <laughs> oh, don't try to move, Borga! Master! different, but I know it's you. I could never forget those gentle eyes. You were my top retainer, and my friend. It's been too long, Borga. <laughs> my friend, have you been watching over my tomb all this time? Yet, I was unable to protect the kingdom that you and I worked so hard to build together. Please forgive me, Borga. I am sorry for failing you. <coughs> That's enough, Borga, my friend. Our time has come to an end. You and I do not belong in this era. We are merely ghosts hanging on to the past. Come with me, Borga. It is time to depart. Borga, you're... No! Borga! Don't go! Borga! Borga. <laughs> Goodbye, Harry. You... You said my name. <laughs> Goodbye, Borga. So, Borga was the Cancer King's vassal. And he kept on guarding the king all this time, even after he turned into a beast.
Cancer King's key piece. Harry, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's better this way. I mean, did you see him? Borga was actually smiling. Yeah, you're right. This is better. Borga finally got to go home. Home to the beloved king he had always dreamed about. We'll keep trying our hardest too, Borga. We'll do whatever it takes to survive down here. All right then. Thanks a lot. Now that you have that key piece thing you came looking for, I guess you're all set. You're gonna leave now, huh? You knew about that? Yeah, well, you know. Listen, come back here anytime, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Got it. Good luck, Harry. You bet. One step closer to the legend. So, but everyone on the ship is good, right? Sure. They're all super good people. I can tell. But pirates are actually bad guys, aren't they? Mark, in this world of ours, you can never take anything at face value. You must always look at its true nature deep within. Huh? I don't really get it. That's all right. One day, you'll understand. similar qualities. Why, this is a revolution in archaeology! Eh? Oh, ho! If it isn't Jester! Did you come here after hearing about the legend of the Mad Witch? Legend of the Mad Witch? Don't know it? It's the tale of a fearsome witch who destroyed an ancient Turrican dynasty. I thought that was just an old folk tale. She never really existed, did she? Legend has it she became a ghost and has been controlling this castle for tens of thousands of years. Ooh, spooky. Come on, cut it out, will you, Burton? I'm dead serious. Look, I know all of you only came here because you're hoping for a chance to nab her treasure, being greedy pirates and all. She comes! What? Foolish wanderers! This castle is sacred ground where my treasure sleeps. Do you too seek my treasure? Oh yes! I know these folks here sure do! But not me, you see! I'm just a scholar! I'm trying to unravel the mysteries of past civilizations! Enough of your ramblings! I don't care. Your excuses mean nothing. No one who enters this castle will walk out alive. Shh! <laughs> I'm full of my cursed incarnations! Jester, watch out! Oh, 
Oh, my servants, crush the fools who have dared to sully this holy place! You've gotten pretty strong. Not bad at all. Listen, I'm going to follow that witch to see where she goes. You go look for her treasure. Well, cheers. Hey, Burton. <sighs> that guy is completely insane. I sense something about that witch. She seems sort of sad. Or was it just me? Come on, Jaster. Let's keep going. This is your last chance. Hand over the treasure. Huh? Did you... just hear that? It came from that way. Burton! Shh! Keep it down! But that's... So, another has come to defile my treasure! You shall have no mercy just like the others! Hmm. This is rich. Show me what you are capable of. Is that it? I see that a disembodied witch is hardly a match for me. <laughs> you think not? Hmm. I won't let you lay a finger on my treasure, my Leo King. That man, he said I was disembodied, yet he himself had no soul. How strange are the ties that bind us. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was quite a scene now, wasn't it? She must be a pretty powerful witch to be able to drive someone like him off. My treasure. My Leo King. What did she mean by that? The Leo King was the ruler who once governed all of Jerica. The King is the treasure. I wonder what she meant by that. Well, anyhow, as usual, I'll go on ahead. Cheers! You just plow on into things, don't you? Again? Mommy? Is Daddy here? I'm not sure, darling. Well, he might be, but he might not be. Your Daddy? He always pretended to be tough. But he was really a scaredy cat inside. I only hope he knows what he's doing, wherever he is. Don't cry, Mommy. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Jie. There's nothing for you to cry about. <laughs> Something's different about this hall. I know. I think this is the Leo King's crypt. Hey! What in the place is Burton doing? Burton? No! <laughs> Welcome. 
welcome, welcome. You are the first to have survived for so long after having felt my wrath. But I cannot permit you to go further. The Leo King Sanctuary is my final hope. You shall not trespass. Your final hope? What are you talking about? You don't need to know. How dare you disturb his majesty's sleep? You will pay with your lies! <laughs> Prepare to chase me! Burton, are you okay? Oh, oh, I'm too old to be standing around like that. Huh? <sighs> Why? Why can't you leave well enough alone? Do you intend to take everything from me? I will not give you the Leo King! I refuse! I will not give him up! Look! What horrid misfortune! Don't take my everything away! I... I... There's nothing left we can do, Your Highness. Without his majesty, all hope is lost. The enemy is already before the castle grounds. Please, your highness, leave at once. Nothing comes of war. We were mistaken. I see that now. And all because we started this conflict. Your highness. <laughs> what should I do, Andronius? What should I do? <laughs> I just want my child. I want my child to live in peaceful times. I would gladly plunge into the fiery depths of hell to make that possible. No, your highness, you mustn't. Let me go. This is the only way. Oh, evil one. I offer my life unto darkness. With this blood covenant, I pledge my soul to you. Make me a servant of the underworld. And in turn, bestow your cursed powers upon me. Powers of evil. Waiting at the furthest reaches of time. Protect this child from harm until the day of salvation is upon us. Live on, Leo King, my son. My dearest Leo King. was not the key piece after all. I guess we were wrong. Bastard! Why would you do that? What? You are the ones who defeated her. I merely ended her suffering. But I do not understand. All that for this. <laughs> Humans certainly are stupid creatures. Ready. So, you're the Leo King. Hey! 
is that? The Leo King's key piece. So the poor queen took a desperate last gamble. She sold her soul in an attempt to keep this kid safe. It turns out that the legend of the Mad Witch was just a sad tale of a mother's love for her child. Don't worry about the baby. I'll make sure to take him to Burkakwa village. I'm certain that they'll raise him up right. Hey, little guy. You'll be a great Burkakwan warrior one day. Uh huh? Hmm. What is it? Nothing. Come on. Our next adventure awaits. Mm-hmm. That's all three key pieces. Our wait is over. operating normally oh really well it's good to rest your circuits once in a while using sleep mode make sure you continue to do so yes doctor I will <laughs> 